Hello everyone, I am back with Guild Wars 2 because I am continuing my quest on this character, Cygnus Orion. He is crafting Astralaria, and we're going to continue doing it. But I'm also excited to play on this character because a bunch of new skins just came out that I think are probably like perfect for him. Let's see, where did I put them? That's the big question. Um, I did put them in the bank, right? Oh, here they are. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should look at dailies too. But I still need to get more stuff. Complete three events. Yeah, I can- I can do all this stuff easy. One day remaining. Okay, well. I can definitely do that on this stream, I think. Ooh, Queensdale. We are right next to Queensdale. That's not what I meant. Oh, but there is a unicorn. What was that? That looked cool. Well, anyways, this is probably all the same as what was here like two days ago. Here we go. What was... Oh, it's a finisher. Who cares about that? Okay, what I meant to do... I think I still... I'm, I don't know how much of this armor that I want. Well, that looks, like, not good. I mean, I know the colors don't help, but... It's because his feet are so short, the, like, folded over part looks, like, more obvious and doesn't look good. This, however, looks pretty nice. I might just get this. It has, like, a star kind of thing on it. Again, my current dye armor is, not, like, not working <laughs> very good with it, but... And I think I definitely want this. I think I definitely want this. This looks so sick. He comes with, like, Morpheus glasses. And what I like about this, um... Apart, or what I like about this more than the other hat I have is it covers his hair. The other one gives him hair, but this character, I think I made him bald originally because I didn't know what to do with his hair. So just covering it is perfect. So, yeah, we need more um, acclaim to get those. Um, I think the weapons, though, I think I just wanted to. I know for a fact I wanted, whoops, I want pistol. Because this guy, he currently has a pistol. Uh, on one of his weapon sets. He has this sick-ass scepter skin. Actually, this pistol does look, like, pretty good with this. But I think this one's gonna be even better. I think this is gonna look fucking sick. Pistol skin, except... Now... Wardrobe. His pistol. Looks pretty good right now, and then... I mean, I think it looks better, right? It certainly looks cooler. Oh, you know, it might look cool when he shoots it, too. They're actually are, like, really similar, like, color palettes, which I was not expecting. What's this one currently? Oh, yeah, well, Eagle Eye was also with this expansion, so I guess it would look similar. I think I'm gonna go with this. I Ribbit so the Mac, thank you so much for the raid with 11 viewers. Oh no, ads, I hate those. Yeah, that looks good. Let me see it, what his pistol looks like. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess just the Mesmer bullets, but that's fine. That's still cool. You're here now, yay! And Zide! Oh, thank you, Zide, for the shout-out. Playing Guild Wars 2? Nice. How is that going? Oh, I like your dancing Choya, even though it's, like, not working. <laughs> I don't know. There's some, some problem with, like, OBS and Twitch for me. But anyways. Speak quickly. Alright, anyways, though, what was I doing? I also have, um, another one. I'm not sure what I want to use it on, though, because... Like, I really like him having... 
Or, uh, he, like, he's, um... He's a Mirage, but I gave him some of the... I, I like him being, like, he's a Mirage and he's a Chronomancer at the same time. So that's why I gave him Horologicus along with Astrolaria, because I think that's cool. But let me see what the shield looks like. And I'm pretty sure I was just gonna buy enough to unlock all of them anyways. But shield. You know, it does still have kind of a, qu a clockwork looking thing with it. It honestly is cool, but I don't know. I like him having like Oh, you know, maybe... Hmm. Trying to think about this. Also, the colors of this, like, work better with... With Astral... Or with, um... The mechanism. Well, what if, like, he had this while he had the mechanism, and then when he gets Astralaria, he also gets Horologicus? Like, we could do something like that, I guess. Yeah, it's just kind of hard because- well, you know, this- this part is the same color as everything, so maybe we could make this work. I'm gonna- I'm gonna see if I can make this work. Okay. Alright, let's see how that looks. I mean, I think it's cool. It does make me want to try and redo some of his dyes, though. Just a little bit. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter yet until, um, I get the other skins. Let me try something, though. This is like a very yellowish gold, so what if... What if we, like, did this? It kind of works. Then the only issue is the blues don't match, and you can't, like, change them. Let me see, what other golds do I have? I'm sure I have something fancier than that. Still has to match. Yeah, that's too orange. That's way too bright. Yeah, honestly, I think pineapple is a pretty much perfect fit. So what if I... What if I did this? I wanna try... I just switched it all around. That actually, like, kinda looks good, I think. Fashion gaming, exactly. I think that, like, honestly looks good. Yeah, anyone that's uh, new to this, um, this is a character I made where his gimmick is that I just do- I do everything with this character while I'm stoned. I feel like if you're making a character that's supposed to be, like, connected to the universe and become one with the universe, um, I just kind of feel like, um, you need that, that special influence to get it right, you know? What if we made the flames on his, coming out of his shoes blue? Yeah, like, you know, I, just now, just doing the colors, it's like, it's all coming out perfect. I think this will end up looking cool, we just need to find the right shade. Yeah, it's way too light. Um, the problem is this is a little too greenish. Stone play Jawless. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. Oh, look, that's like pretty damn close. And the brightness is good. It's just a little too, like, purple. I love how, like, vivid it is. By hue. I mean, I would love to just stick with the, like, exotic colors. Ooh, that looks pretty close. 
That's pretty damn close. Although, let me see here. Because, like, this blue matches kind of the more glowy, like, jeweled parts, but then Vista might match, like, that center part. I think this is better. Get from the front. Oh, I don't know. No, I think I do like this more, just barely. Yeah, all I did was switch up his color scheme slightly, and it's like... Amazing. Yeah, this is good, because they both have this kind of silvery gold color on them. It's perfect. I just switch everything around and it's perfect. Let's see. Ooh, do I want to do that? Kinda do, maybe. What if we did this? No, I don't like that. Now let's just go with this. Oh, now that is done. Now, the, you know, the very important part. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, this is good. Uh, let's see. So what do we still have here? I think it's like doing a freaking, like, um, fractal or something. Yeah, and then... What's in here? Oh, I can do that! I was, like, just there. Actually, yeah, I can just do this and go back. Uh, previous map. Yeah, that's right, because I did the ley line thing off stream because I thought it would be, like, really hard, but it actually wasn't that hard, fortunately. I mean, if I was trying to get gold, that'd be impossible, but... Now I can do this. Oh, you just do that anywhere. Oh, why do I think you had to be on a certain map? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to be on this map, like, ever. Uh, old goth attacks. Anyone else coming up? Like, a shadow behemoth? And then you don't have to do shadow behemoth. Now you can just do events on the map. Well, you might as well combine this here. Pretend like we were here when we did it. Yeah! And then, can I combine this other stuff? I think so. No, I can't. What I need here, I probably need the Constellation Almanac. Magic of the Elder Dragons, power of the Ley Lines, energy from the mists. Wait. Should have that, right? Maybe I put it- maybe I put it in an invisible bag. No, I didn't. I'm missing here. Wait. And a vision crystal! Okay! <laughs> This is just- this is how stoned I am. <sighs> yeah, cause last night I also got stoned and then now I'm also drinking coffee. Do I even have a vision crystal? Uh... Oh, that's not right. I do! I have two of them. Thank you, 
Thank you for the hydrate, Zide. Responsibility isn't easy. <sighs> okay. Now we can do this. This is gonna be so cool. So we're like filtering all these through like a prism, basically. Oh, <laughs> okay. Cosmic power. Awesome. So awesome. Do I even like need Speak this quickly. as the actual item? Do I even need this? Well, we'll keep it for now, I guess. I always just keep it as like a souvenir, I guess. Still not sure if awake. You? Yeah, I know how that is. And we're gonna combine cosmic power with a cartographer's gear. And then we need an almanac too. What am I hearing? Well, anyways, there's like weird music. Um, so I guess we'll have to hope that that battle urban battleground fractal is happening. I'll just go Lion's Arch to see. Like, that's the problem. Like, you know, it's not like I can't do this like every day. So it's like, I just hope that that fractal is the daily when I am doing this. And then I just kind of for like I could just do it off stream, but then I like forget about it. This is a cool fractal though. Uh no. That sucks. I am NA. Yeah, like Honestly, I think it's not that hard to just make a party and then people will be like, Oh, I guess I'll do it then. I just- I, I don't want to be like the leader. <laughs> and then like, most of these fractals I don't really like remember how to do properly. Like I, I just don't want people to like think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like they, they expect me to- this Silvari looks very cool. I'm pretty sure they have, like, an infusion. Well, they, they probably have more than one infusion. I don't know, not necessarily. I think that's that, um, like, dark infusion. I used to have that infusion. And I didn't want it anymore, and then, like... It didn't sell for, like, anything. Anyways, um... We can work on these. Yeah, we can complete three events, because we can do this. That'll be fun. I like Queensdale. Let's go back to Divinity's Reach. I guess I could have looked at LFG just to see if there's anything there, but there probably isn't. Um, what is this? Is this under, like, a different thing? Oh wait, no, it's just- I just didn't scroll down enough. <laughs> there is no one! Alright. Well, I guess that answers that question. Oh nice, I haven't 100%ed Queensdale either, so I can do some map completion as well. Not necessarily complete the whole map, but you know, at least a little bit of progress towards it. Oh yeah, didn't I buy that one die? Did I even apply it yet? I bought this die for my mounts. Oh, I haven't. I'm pretty sure I bought it, right? It was this, right? Yeah! Now they actually look like suns in their eyes. Like, messing around with mounts while I was stoned and just, like, 
and creating this result is like literally one of the things that like inspired this character in the first place. As so when it's like this, it looks like the dark void of outer space, but then there's like suns in the middle of it. I think that's so cool. <laughs> they took my fucking eyes. The only problem is it looks different in the preview than when you actually like use the mount. Like this is just the eyes, which looks so cool. And on the actual mount, it has like it's its mouth. Which is still cool, but just not the same, you know? I mean, it's really cool like that, but yeah, it's not the same. Now it doesn't really look like suns, it just looks like a fire. But that's okay. We'll know, we'll know the truth of what it's really meant to look like. Seth, all of the- it might- it might be better- skimmers might be better though, actually. You are very much bothering me, get the fuck out of here. Anyways. Oh, that looked cool! There's like a sun when it like spawned. Yeah, this one like you can't even see its eyes. <laughs> they took my fucking- Well, okay, how about this? Cause I was thinking the way the mouth looks, you could make it look like galaxies or like nebulas and stuff. But you can't make the mouth a different color from the eyes. They might actually be good here. Let's see. I mean, it does look pretty sick, regardless. It's like it doesn't even have a face. It's crazy. What else do we have? I think this will look that impressive. Yeah. I've said this before, how it's like... Well, it's kind of cool with the gray, I guess. Because it's like space clouds, or whatever they're called. Anyways, I know Shadow Abyss is already Shadow Abyss. Like, it sounds like it should be like the absolute darkest color. But compared to the Abyssal dyes, which I know they are colors and not black, but... Like, the, the brightness of the Abyssal dyes is more than the darkness of Shadow Abyss. Like, here, Shadow Abyss just appears gray. Like, they need an actual, like, darkest black. They call it, like... Abyssal... I don't know. They already have Shadow Abyss. But, you know. I just think... That's something they should do. Alright. How's this? This might be perfect. This kind of teal. Ooh. Yeah, like, if I could have a combination of that and purple, that'd be, like, perfect. But I think I'm just... It still doesn't really look like anything. So just for, um... Consist consistency, I'm gonna go with this. Ah, Jackal. You're just- oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Jackal, you were one of the coolest looking mounts. Like, not- like, default and as well as all the skins it gets. I mean, it's a freaking wolf. And yet, it, he just doesn't have hardly any use outside of sand portals. Very sad. Alright. I will now do stuff. Oh, nice! Some banners. I don't really need them, but it's still nice. I love when they spawn these here before, like, boss fights and everyone gets, like, full stack of drunkness off of this. And then, <laughs> then they just can't fight the boss because all their attacks keep missing. It's like, stuff like that's supposed to help you against the boss, but they actually spawn something that is, like... Detrimental. Oh, these are cute. I feel like I probably noticed those before. Honestly, a decent amount of events happen even just around here. I could just like do events or do um, renowned hearts while I wait for events. Literally no reason to use anything other than the one skill. 
I want to look at- I want to see the four skill. That was pretty cool. No, like... I, I almost sort of feel like I want, like the old gun skin more. So I know before I was saying I wanted a kind of like sci-fi looking ray gun kind of thing. Now that I think about it, the kind of more fancier, refined looking or look of the other one, I feel like just matches his whole look better. But whatever. They're both good. They're both good skins. Yeah, I mean, obviously it matches the other weapon. We'll just have to see. Oh, I was saying before, go off on another tangent. I think this was for sale. Um, weapon skins. So that eclipse thing I have is a scepter. This is also a scepter. You cannot dual wield scepters on any character any class as as far as i know um but just imagine if you could and then you had you had both of these that would be so sick now i almost like the moon one more than the um eclipse one but yeah like, if you could wield both, that would just be so amazing. Yeah, I don't think there are any classes that can do a wield. I don't actually... No, yeah, Scepter can be backhand on some classes, right? Anyways, though, um... Or offhand, rather. Yeah, because I noticed with the weapon proficiency thing, when they let a class... Um, when they give a class a new weapon that's a one-handed weapon, they'll just let them wield it on both, uh, main hand and off hand. Like, they'll be like, oh, Necro is getting sword, you can have it on both hands. Uh, Guardian's getting pistol, they can have it on both hands. So part of me is like, I mean, if they introduce Scepter to a new class, they'll be able to do a wield Scepter. Scepter is strictly main hand. Oh, so it's never been offhand. I probably would have known that um, if I was sober, but... <laughs> uh... Scepter has only ever been main hand. Oh, okay. Well, so much for that, but... I mean, you know, and this is something too, like... I don't know if they'll do this now since they're not really making, like, entire new elite specs that play, like, totally different, but... A while ago, I was thinking how, like, a one, one way to add a lot of, like, creativity with the weapons, with giving new weapons, they could make, like, a weapon that was only ever offhand. They could let a class wield it mainhand. Like, um, my friend and I were thinking how cool it would be if they gave an elite spec, like, shield mainhand, and they had it as, like, um... Like a melee weapon, or even like throwing, like a throwing weapon. Or maybe like they could have a class that like main hands focus. Or may and they could like dual wield focus and be like a punching class. Like just taking a weapon that was only ever offhand only and making it main hand could open up like so many new possibilities and totally new uh like ways of playing. So I mean you know, and no one says they can't, I mean, you know, unless they say that they can't, but, you know, it seems like they could do that, and there's not really anything stopping them, so... I think that's a possibility, I think they should definitely consider doing that, because that'd be sick. Get out of the catnip, silly kitty. When I- and I'll, by the way, that shield thing I was talking about, that was something my friend and I came up when we were sober, so... But really, like, I think they could do that, and that could be, like, kind of sick. Like, it, they already kind of, um... 
Because before Heart of Thorns, Staff... I mean, Staff is, is still, like, you know, two-hand weapon. They didn't change that, but... Before Heart of Thorns, before um, Daredevil and Revenants, Staff was, I'm pretty sure, entirely just... Um, like a magic wielding, like spell casting weapon. And then when they introduced Thief and Revenant, they're like, well, what if we made Staff actually be a melee weapon? Like, there's already a little bit of an example of like where they kind of changed up a way a weapon was used to be something totally different. So, in a way, they've already done that a little bit. Hey, Comboss, what's up? This game has some weird blur, really? Bob the Key Farmer. I'm almost surprised no one came up with that name before. What if... Okay, I don't know that much about Cali Sticks as a weapon, or like the different martial arts behind it. I know it's like a melee weapon, but what if... What if when you dual wield scepters, what if they took inspiration from like Cali sticks? Best time to pick an apple and they could even make it still be like a magic based like spell casting thing. Or it could be a combination like melee and spell casting. Um, or they could go like full daredevil and just make it melee. But you know, that's just an example of like something interesting they could do <clears throat> by like repurposing a weapon in a different way. I mean, I don't know, like, stat-wise, you know, what kind of, like, niche that would fill, but I think it could be cool. There are typical rule breakers, like Revenant, yeah. Still not found any events yet. I mean, I'm sure there's events where that mentor is, but I kind of don't feel like waypointing everywhere. Uses range weapons, melee. Scepter, staff, and uses melee weapons, right? Yeah, you know what? You're right. I never thought of that before. That's really cool. Like, the thing with the hammer, too. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, because I don't think any other class does that, or if they do... They didn't before. I mean, I guess now with like Ranger Hammer, I mean, I guess that's still melee, but also is kind of like casting spells and stuff. It turns Scepter into a lightsaber. I think I kind of remember that. It's been so long since I played Revenant because I don't really like Revenant that much. But you're right, they did do that already. Oh, well, we did one thing, at least. Let's see, how much do I need for that hat? Mm, I think it's the same amount as the shoes and the gloves. Yeah, they're all 375. I feel like these gloves will end up looking really good. Well, how they- how his look like right now? I mean, those are cool, too, and they have definitely matched the sort of, like, ornate armor looking thing he has going on, but yeah, I think the other ones will be cooler, probably. I know an event, at least one, that happens here occasionally, but I don't know what's happening now. I don't remember if this event ends up with the merchant, but if it does, he's not here now, so that's a good sign. I don't think it does end up with the merchant. That's usually a good way you can tell if like an event like is still in its completed state or not, or if it's about to like start over. Oh, I've got to do something. Hold on.
Okay. Well, I guess we can view the vista while we're here. I guess. Oh yeah, I'm kind of like, this is a cool sky scale skin, but I'm kind of like not that happy with how it's looking, I guess. I mean, this is like really pretty and it's cool you can make it look like that, but I just, I feel like it doesn't ma uh, match his vibe. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't think I fixed, oh, I did not fix everyone's dies. Uh, bridge. All right, well, something was there for a second. Yeah. Yeah, this one, obviously, I don't quite... Ooh, that looks cool, though. That actually looks really neat. Yeah, I don't I don't quite have the same mount skin on this guy. And I don't have that skin on Sky Scale either. Although, I guess I could try it with, um... What are you doing? We can just see how Abyssal Ridge looks on it. Just to see. Do I have all the Abyssal dies now? I think I have almost all of them. That- oh, that changes that. That's kind of neat. I mean, it does look cool. It might be one of those things also where it just looks cooler in the preview than the actual thing. Ooh, that's really pretty. That is like super pretty. That looks cool too. I mean, the colors are like beautiful for sure. But let me let me play around with some other stuff, possibly. I do have the like the star, the you know the space looking skin, like called star star gaze for sky scale. I know you would think for like a space themed character, why not use these skins? Like it should be obvious. I guess maybe it was just too obvious, and that's just not like. It's just not what, you know, was inspiring this, uh, character's look. I guess. See, look how- look how- Like, the dark parts of the Abyssal dyes are darker than Shadow Abyss. Like, look how underwhelming this looks. We need something that's this, but just black. With this level of black. Or maybe possibly even a like very dark gray, but the black parts of these are blacker than their darkest black. And I think they uh need to do something about that. Like to me, this is just like too sparkly for outer space. I mean, obviously outer space does have like sparkles and stuff on it. Part of what I really like about this is how much it emphasizes the void of space. Because there is, like, yeah, there's a lot of stars and stuff, but there's also a lot of just, like, empty space in space. I, th that's why they call it space. I just, you know, this just emphasizes, I think, a part of it that, you know, maybe a lot of people don't necessarily think of when they think of space. They just think of the stars. I don't know. I just like the vibe of it more. This fist is boring. Oh wow, look at that ugly ass dam. Isn't that so beautiful? <laughs> Not really. Alright, we need to find some freaking events. Uh we can just see really quick if the event is happening here. Oh <laughs> well, now my sky scale looks like this. It is cool looking, don't get me wrong. But I want this guy. I 
don't know, they're both, like, they both look cool, but none of them just quite get the vibe across right. Also, I want to change my glider. This glider is not, like, the greatest either. Like, that... Ah, that change maybe gave it a little bit of definition. Not really. There's this one glider I swear that I saw at one point, and now I can't find it. It's not this. There's one where they're, like, meditating. And it's like, that would be so perfect. I, I wish they would, like, have the, um, default die option on here, like they do with mounts. Like, these are cool. But... I like how it's going from his back. That is cool. Like, the ones where he's surfing on them, those are cool, don't get me wrong. And this is, like, really pretty. I swear there was- Oh, maybe it was this one. It must have been this one. Yeah, this would be so freaking perfect for him. Like, more than any of these other ones. I mean, these are all cool, like I said. Oh, I thought that spinning part was part of the glider at first. It's his shield. Yeah, this one is- oh, I want this one so bad. But it's not for sale. No way I get it. I mean, I guess you could use, like, a wardrobe unlock, but probably won't get it. It's very- that's cool. It's cool, too. It's basically like a not as good version as, of um, this one. Uh, I, there's, I mean, there's even, there's even planets. There's even planets on it. Or are those bubbles? I don't know. Well, you could pretend they're planets. All right, let's stop dicking around with fashion wars that I can't even do. Can't even do those fashion wars. Arca Queen. I mean, it's generally a good thing to do, but I kind of don't feel like it. There are, like, literally no events. That one is just finished. Oh, well, this is contested. Probably should use Beetle. Or not. And now we're there, so. Oh, yes! Only one of seven waves. Perfect. Wait, is anyone even here? Oh, yeah, there's like one person? They're just sitting in the uh, waypoint, so. I don't know. Oh, they're over here. Don't hog all of it, guys. Let, let us other people get it, too. Oh, here they are. Die. <laughs> like, other voices overlapped. Is there a renowned heart here? Maybe I already did it. Yeah. I wanna give everyone else a turn. I guess. Although, at this point, it's their fault for not coming over here, so. Alright, let's see if there are any other events. We don't need to stay here. Coyote. There are never any events at Claypool. Just a really annoying renowned heart. Although, I think there can be an event up to the north of it in the little like pond. 
It's like a little fishing pond, and sometimes there's like a giant mutant drake or something like that. Uh, right now. They should, they should unlock, they should make a skiff skin of this, because this is actually like kind of neat. And if you're going for a very like rustic Crichton looking character, I think it would probably be pretty fitting. That's a really nice waterfall. You know, I was just thinking, eventually I want to make, um, a Norin that was, like, um, kind of salmon-themed, or rather he was, like, a follower of salmon, the spirit of the wild, um, that I made up, because Norn have no lore, so you can make up anything. But anyways, you know, I've said this before, like, in real life, Obviously, there are a lot of native tribes that, like, revere salmon and consider them, like, one of the most important animals. So I thought... And salmon are, like, legitimately fucking awesome. Both as animals and as food. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool, like... There was a Norn that followed salmon and the, like, sustenance that they gave and, like, how they migrate and stuff. I was thinking, you know, what kind of gameplay thing could I do with that character and make it less, you know, samey, for lack of a better word. I just thought, like, there are rivers in this game, and they, you know, they mostly make the maps, like, separate from each other, but, like, there's still, like, bodies of water that follow into the other maps. So I thought it would be so cool if he started, like, in Shiver Peaks and he followed the river all the way down to the sea. There's some, like, spiritual thing for him. That might actually be kind of cool. And I think most of that space going south does have, like, a playable map on it. But I think that would be cool. There's harpies and bandits. <laughs> that basically sums up, uh, 90% of Krita, doesn't it? There's harpies and bandits. You're kidding, right? All right, this is almost over. So that's good. This should be just about over. Die! It is nice having range on him. I mean, obviously that's nice to have in general, but it also just feels really fitting for him as a character. I've only done two events, damn. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, if you go from, like... I guess you can't go from Wayfarer. I guess you'd have to go from... When does it actually start being a river and not just, like, frozen? Because, uh, yeah, there's no map here. It'd be kind of cool, though, because it does empty down into kind of two different places. To be like he chooses the his own path, which one to go to or something. I don't know. Yeah, my lore with the spirit of salmon is now the Norn used to live in like the far Shiver Peaks, but then um, Jormag made it inhospitable. He made it too icy and and cold, so they moved south. What if, like, they didn't discover salmon until they moved farther south? I mean, wouldn't it kind of make sense for the Norn to adopt, like, new spirits of the wild if they go to a new habitat? I mean, that already kind of happened with that Norn that was in, uh, Maguma. 
who believed in like spirit of dinosaur or something, but then like is they just got killed. <laughs> um, but I mean, I think that would make sense. Because why would the only like, and this isn't just going like their beliefs, but I mean, even canonically in universe, like it makes sense. Like if the if the spirits of the wild are real things that exist canonically and. So it makes sense there would be other spirits of the wild in other parts of Tyria, not just... Not just the animals limited to, like, a really small area. Right? And there are the so-called, like, minor spirits of the wild, or, the, like, the lesser spirits of the wild. And there are Norn that follow, like, the, the lesser ones. So yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's lore consistent or whatever it is you call it. It'd be cool to actually look up what all the spirits of the wild are besides the main ones. Well, and the two, or at least one got killed. I know spirit of or owl spirit got killed. Isn't there also like spirit of ox or something? They they also got killed. Yeah, and the other ones definitely exist, because there's like a, what was it, um, Badger's spirit or something? Like in, um, Ice Breed Saga, there are, you do see, you meet some of the other lesser spirits of the wild, and they still exist and help you. I guess my question is, when they say lesser, do they mean they just have less relevance to, like, Norn culture, or they're actually, like, weaker? Like, magically? When you look far west on the world map, it is believed that the leader of the Order of Whispers comes from there, and there's a theory that Bram's dad lives there. That's crazy. Oh, is that? Yeah, this goes really west now because of Horn of Maguma. You mean here? Whatever's happening here. Yeah, that's right, because the, the map used to just go to, like, here, and then you're like, I, I guess there's nothing over there. And it's like, no, there's a whole ass post and shit over here. <clears throat> <coughs> Look further south. These islands? What do you mean here? Yeah, it's like a whole other continent or something, isn't it? This is as far as I can go west. And south, more than that, it's just Cantha. Here. Yeah, you know, I didn't even really explore all the outer edges of the map that, like, exist now. But yeah, like, there is straight up just another landmass over there. I know there's some stuff that is in Guild Wars 1 that, like, covers some of the parts of the land we haven't been to in this game, but... Can't imagine all of this has, like, been in existence since Guild Wars 1. And there's some little islands here. And it does feel like... You know, maybe they're just small ideas and they don't, like, aren't necessarily gonna actually put into the game, but I feel like... If they bothered painting, like, pieces of land over here, that's because they actually think they might do something with it eventually, right? This is definitely, like, going on, in, on Google Maps, and, like, some islands are just totally pixelated. And there's, like, stuff up here, too. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm curious how far south it actually goes, because it obviously has to, like, wrap around the top at some point, right? Assuming this is laid out the way, like, real-world maps are laid out, where they basically took a globe and just flattened it out to one plane. That would mean, like, the stuff up here is probably actually, like, way wider than it actually is, because it gets more distorted as you go more towards the poles. So if this actually, like, squishes in at the top, and then it also squishes in down on the bottom. But they always talk about Cantha being so far away. And it's a separate continent, which means it's not just this attaches directly to the top. There has to be, like, way more 
on the north and or south that we don't even know about. And we do know Tyria is a globe, because we have seen globes of Tyria. Like, there's no way Cantha is just, like, up here, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. And that's one of the things that, like, interests me the most about this game. And, like, new... Like, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Secrets of the Obscure, but they did at least- Well, they didn't really, like, uncover a new part of the map, because this is heavily implied to be, like, an alternate dimension, right? Like, it's not actually physically up here. Or if it is, it's, like, way, way up in the air. So if they actually are just adding, like, a new plane instead of just, like, um, exploring the actual land they already have. Check the world map on the wiki if you want to know. Ooh. Alright. Anyways. Did this. Oh, we can do this. Oh, crafting resources. That's good to remember, too. Sometimes there's an event along here, but I don't think it's happening right now. Now it's over near where it would have started. Oh. Um, no, there's no, like, new bosses, I don't think. Aggressive River Drake. Wait, is this an event? Now that I think about it. Or do they just talk about this guy being over here, but it's not an event? What do you do? Oh, okay. That must be the event. The Drake is, uh, separate, I guess. Aggressive River Drake. Aren't they all aggressive, though? Are. Oh, they're grapes. Oh, that's cute. So it's a vineyard over here. That's cool. Look alive. They're not just here to steal. Perfect. To I, it's the same event I just did, but I guess we'll do it again. I guess I'll ping it too. That's probably a good idea. Cattleman Curtis. Have you, done? you guys run into Oh, I know I'm gonna use on you. Aw oh, yeah. You've been struck. You've been struck by shit. Wow, the cave troll came all the way out here? He came all the way out here! I didn't know you could even do that. That's crazy. You could drag him all the way over here. But it was a good thing they did that, because um, then I got to fight him. I like how they're literally just standing here. Oh, some of them are actually, like, shooting. Die. Don't just stand there, cows. <sighs> Next time I raise something smart off bandits. Oh yeah, I need to do this too. That should be easy. I'm neither here nor there. Yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure Mirage's dodge is like longer than a regular dodge, so that makes it pretty easy.
Oh yeah, and crafting resources, that's important. You almost have enough for that hat skin. nodes over here. Oh, there is one here. Yay. How many more of those events do I have to do? Ten? Okay. I guess that explains why, um, it's beat the boss or do the events, because 10 is a lot. Like, it's good for people who can only play at, like, a very specific time, but also, if you are able to, it's better to just wait for Shadow Behemoth. Why is this here? What's this? Oh, this is a elemental thing. I feel like all the elementalists I have, they're all just like themed after one specific element. But I want to come up with like a good character that actually is like all the elements. I mean, I do have one kind of, but she's not even really a character. I just want to make like a rainbow themed character like aesthetically. She doesn't actually have any lore or like anything. The amount of times I've heard that, probably more than I can outrun a centaur. <laughs> oh, I think they meant more than they've heard that. I thought they meant, like, they've heard it even more than the level that they can outrun a Never mind. Uh... Let's see, what else is there besides nothing? Nice. Well, every little bit counts. Oh, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Where is this one again? That's not the Windy Ca- Oh, that's the Dredge one, I think. Though that'll be easy. I yeah, but this one's also nice that they changed it. Because, like... I'm pretty sure even if you do have Heart of Thorns, I think doing Silver Waste is still, like, a better way to, like, kill a bunch of Mardrum. But it just- it adds more variety. And I can do it basically, like, anywhere in, like, Silvari ter territory. Um, which I might do. Isn't Jungle Worm about to start? Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna do this boss, it just, like, works me to the map. It's nice. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Damn it. Oh, you just went and killed everyone already. Oh, there's still someone here. I doubt that these counts. <laughs> no. 
No, it's still at 2%. That's what I expected. We might as well finish this renowned heart. And then maybe, you know, we could fight the worm a little bit. I'm guessing... Does this count? I kind of doubt it. Wait, did it? Oh, it did! Oh wait, no, he's still alive. Oh, but it did- it did count. It did count. Nightmare Wolves counts. Yeah, it makes sense, because Mordrum includes, like, the more animalistic ones. In addition to the humanoid one. This is a really nice texture here. It's kind of, like, wet, like, damp rocks. That's really nice, actually. I like this, too. I think it's supposed to be, like, evil-looking because it's black, because it's Nightmare Court, but it looks really nice. I always kind of wish they- I mean, I've mentioned this before, I kind of wish they executed the Nightmare Court a little bit differently. Uh, some of their values, or some of their, like, wanting to resist, like, the control of the pale tree. Like, I think that stuff is not inherently bad. But they just made the Nightmare Court just, like, 100% evil and, like, want to make everyone suffer. Like, I feel like they could have made them more nuanced. And, like, a little more gray, perhaps? But that's clearly not what they were going for. And every other race had just, like, a 100% evil. Um like, group. So I guess they had to do that here, too. Also, Nightmare Court can summon, like, an evil, like, a giant evil worm. Why can't the good Silvari summon a giant, like, good worm? Like, I don't think they ever are shown doing that. Like, being able to summon, like, really powerful monsters. If they- if, it's not like the good Silvari make a giant good plant monster that I know of. I don't remember that ever happening. Die. I'm not sure how much time I really want to spend on the boss. Like, I'll do a little bit to get credits, but it's like kind of boring. I kind of just want to like see if this event starts happening, because I know that event can happen during the boss, I'm pretty sure. I don't really need- I'll get this waypoint. I think that one will be useful, but I don't need that one. Oh yeah, I still need to gather stuff, too. Hide him a little bit. Oh. waste all my CC on this boss. Cherry magic, that's cute. Uh, where are they? Oh. Uh, there we go. I'm helping! I wonder if we can actually save that guy. Oh, I guess so. I thought 
confusion with soft CC, but I'm not actually sure. Yeah, we need to charge these. I know these are like not good skills, but I don't know. I don't really know how to play Mesmer. <laughs> We need to kill, right? Secure the area. Uh. The other one. Oh, it's dead. Good. See, this was the event I was talking about. This is exactly what I'm- Oh god. Oh god. Okay. What I was waiting for. I'll still get credit for the boss. Die. And no one else is here, except me, so I can kill all of them. Aw, yeah. <laughs> yeah, get killed. Okay, let's see if we can heal this guy real quick. It's feeding off the husk. Thank you. Hey, get over here. They come from the I wonder if this is still because it seems like kind of a lot of enemies. Like, not an overwhelming amount, but I wonder if this, um, scaled it all because the, like, boss nearby. It's probably too far away, though. Yeah, look how these guys get to kill. This is perfect. And, and there's that, too, so that's nice. Die. Yay! See, I got 36 from that. Oh hey, it looks like the boss is dead. Surely I got credit for it, right? Yeah, swap chest. Yay, stuff. I'll see now everyone is up here doing this. Rip spark fly. I probably didn't get anything good from this, but <clears throat> I can see at least. We got an exotic, we can throw that into the Mystic Forge. One I already have unlocked. Unfortunately, it's a great sword, not a regular sword, so I can't give it to my Necro that needs a second sword. That's okay.
I can't say I care too much about this event. You get tell me about the imps? Oh, that's, um, Hylic. I don't care. They killed each other. That was interesting. I mean, it's not even a renowned heart here, so what's even the point? It's not like it's Nightmare Court attacking, either. Oh, I did- I did the resource one, didn't I? Oh, so I don't need to be doing that anymore. Um, so now it's just killing Nightmare Court, pretty much. Um, this is the Hylic thing. I guess I should check periodically for the fractals, though I don't really think I'm gonna get a party there. Probably one of those things where I'm just gonna have to <laughs> start the party. I don't really want to do. This is all Hylic. What about over here? Man, this game is so pretty. I'm so glad I can play in, like, the full graphics. Because for so long I had to play in, like, super low graphics. And I'm still, like, discovering, like, the true appearance of some places for the first time. More cake! Oh, this is a place where you can just farm the hell out of Nightmare Court. Is there a bunch of rabbits over here? It's appreciated. Oh, bar. Don't care about Tovar. Oh look, they respond. Perfect. This wait, this spider count? Let me kill this guy first. There's 41. Oh, nightmare spider does not count as nightmare court. Yes. Kill. Nice, the other person left. Now I can kill everyone myself. This is perfect. Mortars obviously don't count, but they are like super annoying, so we'll destroy them too. Last thing is when, um, like, the event happens. So then, like, tons of Nightmare Court spawn.
Alright, well, maybe we'll go somewhere else. God, I hate the event that happens here so much. Oh, there are, there are nightmare, nightmare court around here because sometimes there's events where they like try to attack the soundless over here. You look like you want to do something over here. Never mind. Thought there'd be an event or something. Of course, there's already another player over here killing everyone. That sucks. Go faster! Yes. Is this the way it just was? <laughs> Is this the way it just was? <laughs> Okay, well, whatever, because there's uh, people here killed, so we'll do it. I really appreciate Guild Wars 2 having the little, like, showing your path that you took. It's so helpful. I found myself wanting that in, um, like, a Dragon 8. I just found myself, like, wishing that I had that. I wasn't just going around the same alleyways over and over again. Hey, model, what's up? Thanks for coming. I'm working on Astralaria, but unfortunately, the very last thing I need to do for this step in the collection is um, a fractal. And, like, it's not a daily, and no one's doing it. So I'm also working on these, so I can get some of the cool skins for my character. You'd be down for starting an LFG? That would be awesome, model. Since God knows I don't want to be the one to start it. Yeah, that'd be great. No, don't kill him! Yeah. I hate when NPCs, like, kill the uh, enemy before you can get to them, because it's like, you're NPCs, you don't, like, benefit from this at all. You don't get XP. Okay. Or are there? Nice! <laughs> oh yeah, there's also this. I would rather just do the boss instead of just doing, like, a million events. I don't think... I don't think... I mean, it happens pretty regularly. I don't think it's happening... Jormag... Jungle Worm... Yeah, it's not happening yet. Scale 4? Wait. Isn't Scale 4? Isn't that- I think that is Urban Battleground, isn't it? Hold on, this is- I think it is. Also, I think Urban Battleground is just a really cool fractal. Not only does it, like, go over an event that's, like, really pivotal to, um, like, the lore- Oh shit, I went to the wrong place! <laughs> Not only is it this really big event in history, but you actually get to play as Flame Legion. Oh, that's not right. I was gonna say you get to play as a char, it's like, you can already do that. 
I get here before it fills up or something. Well, and now I also want to actually see if that's what scale four is, because I'm pretty sure it is. I think it's lame in game. The only way you can even like view it is you have to actually go to the fractal, or you go Lion's Arch. There's not, as far as I know, like a menu where you can just look at it anywhere. It's really dumb. I mean, obviously you can just look up online, but something like that you should be able to look at in-game and not have to go to a specific map just to do it. It is four! Let's go, dude! I knew it. Fractals. Hopefully they're still here. Yeah. Hey, model. Maybe you can just join this group. Are they just- you're th they're just doing it! Actually, come to think of it- wait, is this the right way? Yeah. Come to think of it. Do you even have to do anything? Near the chest. Oh yeah. Does that be nighttime? Or maybe it is nighttime anyways. Die. Um, is this it? I guess we're here just in time. Don't block cheater. Yeah, fuck you. This is cool because you get to be the char and kill the humans. You get to be the good guys. Haha! Day. Wait, oh no. Oh no. I remember there being I remember reading there being something weird with like fractals like time of day. Oh no. I guess I'll stay here as long as the instance is up. I guess there's no reason to type that since it's just modeling me here. <sighs> Let's see. Oops. Oh my god, I keep typing into the wrong tab. Fractal. Huh? Table below can be filled to- Wait, it says it's always daytime here. Okay, hold on. Maybe I need to be closer. Maybe I need to be standing here- Oh, that's right, so now these are really specific about where you stand. Oh no, what the heck? Uh, let me see. The name of the thing is, um, Star Chart Cauldron. Act 
circles don't need to be complete. Get the okay. Um. Oh, if you cannot see the chest, the location is west of the circle. I can't see a chest because it's auto loot. Okay. The turn off auto loot. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, you sure can see the stars here. I guess this takes place in a part of Tyria that's in in inaccessible? I mean, I know part of it's just they want to make you do a fractal, but I'm trying to think of, like, where exactly in Tyria this is located. An unnamed Ascalonian city. Well, it looks like it's north of the wall, because looking on the map on the wiki, it's like... Um, who is this? Oh no. Sorry, we're not actually doing it anymore. <laughs> Looking on the map on the wiki, it looks like the the big wall, the As Ascalonian wall, is that what it's called? Wall of Ascalon? It's like to the on the southern border of the map. That's interesting. Um, but it looks like the entire wall is covered in the game. I don't know over here. It could be over here? I don't know. Looks like the entirety of the wall is like on the game map, so... Actually... This is... It kind of looks like that, but... I think... This curve is not the wall. I'm not sure, and I mean, <laughs> I'm not like showing on streams, so that doesn't help. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter where it is. Here we go, and the article says the false so the Ascalon, I find very unlikely. Oh, okay. I think this is the city of Sermia. It's located north of the wall. North of the wall was conquered before the searing. Also, the building from which the boss approaches could be the building the players of Guild Wars 1 find the mouthpiece of the Horn of Stormcaller. Completely neglecting any lore, I see it as an HD version of the scene where we see the prophecy's introduction and pre-searing Ascalon and what could have happened after. This is Ascalon on the day of the searing. For me, it's more like day of faux fire as you can already see some searing like ruins in the map. Huh. Oh, that was a broken... See, now- I, I know I shouldn't be doing this on stream, but I want to see... Um, Sir- Sir- Sermia. That's what it was called. Ruins of Sermia. Or Sermia. Uh... Doesn't even show on the map where it is. It okay, ruins up Sarmia. There we go. I don't know where it is either. God, oh, just looking at there's one up is just like terrible memories of when I tried to play that game. 
Where does that actually locate? This is an Ascalon, but it's not like you can see it on the map. It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh yeah, sick! Now I can continue this! Because now we can do this. And now... We can do this! Or wait, um... Wait. <laughs> oh, we have to go to the Priory. No, we don't. We have to craft it. Well, that's In some ways, that's even better than just clicking on it. And I actually fully leveled, or at least leveled enough. I think I did fully level it. A uh, weapon crafter. Weapon smith on this character. So he can actually... is a total waste of gold, because I already have like... I already have a fully leveled weaponsmith, but now he can actually craft his own shit, and that's just more important to me. What else do we need here? Ten Alonian leather squares. I think Sermia is close to the Shiver Peak mountain range, but I haven't played Guild Wars 1 in forever. Okay. That would... Town of Nolan? There are some parts of it that look kind of similar. Hmm. Although I don't think the actual wall is here. Is that, It looks like more just like... Mountain. Like a mountain range. And then they just continued the wall off of the mountain? I don't know. Alright, Tanalonian leather. Yeah, you can't actually craft the leather on Weaponsmith. It's just so fucking dumb. I'm probably gonna end up just buying this, though, from the trading post. Yeah. Yeah, why- why can't you craft this? I mean, it says you can, but they just mean you can craft with it. You can't- and you can craft the ingredient to make it, but you can't craft the actual thing itself as Weaponsmith. That is, like, so dumb. And I- I'm not gonna deal with it. Let's sort through this loot. I guess I didn't get any keys. I think I might have a key? That's Nol Nolani Academy. Sermia is northeast of Ascalon City. Isn't- I'm trying to remember what's Ascalon City in this game now. Is that what- Oh, it, that became Black Citadel, right? They built on the ruins? Or is that wrong? This isn't there like the ruins of Ascalon? In the southern part? Oh, that's ruins of Rin. Where is the actual Ascalon City? I forget. Oh well. Do I have any of these? These. I might. I might. But I might not. Oh, that sucks. I just have to go back into the fractals to buy it. Which I don't really feel like doing. Um, alright. Let's go buy this leather. You're like so freaking close. Ascalon City Waypoint. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's here. Well, I, it really, it got really ruined. There's just like walls and nothing else. It got super ruined. Cool. Bear listens, but oh, so if it's northeast, then. Yeah, you know, because I was thinking... Oops. I mean, it shows the wall going down here. But it definitely had a structure that looked like this. And obviously, if it got destroyed by the Char, and then, even later than that, Krakatoric destroyed it, that makes sense why it would not, like, hardly at all resemble what it looks like. Like, even that thing. Well, that's probably a structure they added later. 
Yeah, I think it's here. And that makes it really cool that Krakatoric lands here. Maybe that could be why, because maybe there's like leftover magic from the cauldron. And we know there's an actual cauldron here. Anyways. Leather. I think I probably have enough gold. It's pricey, but, you know, it's worth it. I did- I did not want to switch to another character. Yeah, let's do it! We're gonna do it, guys. Welcome no, again. shut up. <laughs> Tyrion Constellation Almanac. Yay! We did it. Gift of the Cosmos. Now what do we do with it? Use the craft the Gift of Astralaria. Hi. Oh, I guess I probably have to buy... Well, let me see. Uh, Okay, so it looks like I did all the collections. The Calcator land directly on whatever was left of Sermia. <laughs> That's- yeah, I love that. That's so great. Uh... Oh yeah. I think I need to, um, buy something. Second collection. Third. Fourth. No, I don't think it's anything here. No, I don't think so. No, it's not any of that. No, because I did that. Yeah. Third collection. Fourth. Okay, so there's that. Exchanges. This is what I already have. Gift of the Cosmos. Gift of family. Aww. I eventually want to do this. Okay, so... Maybe I buy it from Mayani. Pretty nice anti-colonial jab at humans in this game. Yeah, I definitely enjoy that. Now, if only they would um do that stuff with the humans towards the centaurs. Because right now the centaurs are basically what the char were in the previous game. Oh yeah, Mayani. Or Miani, whatever her name is. Probably Neoni. Do you have what I need? Uh, no, I don't think it's a mystic item. I mean, I might need that eventually. Oh, I bet it's here, right? Ice, metal, wood, Maybe you energy, nature, statue, mystery, music, darkness, light, quicksilver, entertainment, weather, flame, color, lightning, wolf statue, shark statue, eel statue. Cool. Gift of water. What are we looking for? Gift of... Oh, it's probably not this then. Gift of Astralaria. Gift of blades. No. Tell him some knowledge. No. Exchange. No. Uh... If I talk to you... It's called Gift of Astralaria, right? Use the craft the Gift of Astralaria. How do I craft it? Uh, I can actually make this, not that I want to. Let me remember what that's part of. Well, I probably have to... 
salvage this, right? Or no, you use it- Oh, I bet you have to throw it in the Mystic Forge with something. But it doesn't tell you, so you have to just look it up, I guess. It's like some of the legendary stuff. Would be good if they stayed on the trend of giving monster races redeeming qualities and actual culture. Most of the core game made me cringe through and through if I thought about it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, both Centaur and Grawl, basically. They're basically just, like, a racist stereotype of, like, native... natives. Centaurs for, like, Native Americans, and then Grawl for, like, um, other tribes. Like, African stereotype tribe, I guess. And they should have fucking done- because obviously a lot of media does this. They're, like, having a really stereotypical um like portrayal of tribes as being like primitive and stupid and stuff like this and it's super racist they should have done what they did in super paper mario where they just made them like frat boys <laughs> they made well they're like cavemen and instead of making them be like tribesmen stereotype they were just frat boys <laughs> It was- I don't- I'm not sure what they did in the Japanese version, if they did, like, the Japanese equivalent of a frat boy, if that's even a thing, but, like, that's what they did in the, uh, in the English version, and it was, like, so good. I'm like, get on their level, ain't it? Um, oh yeah, so I need to look up how to craft this thing. You know, something that's bothered me in this game for years, and I never, like, wanted to say it on stream. Well, I, I always wanted to say it on stream, but... Okay... Mystic Tribute, Gift of Maguma Mastery. So I need a Mystic Tribute and I need Gift of Astrolaria. Okay. Here we go. Gift of Astrolaria. You need Gift of Metal, Gift of the Mist, and 100 Icy Runestones. How would you ever know that without looking at the guide? Like, they did add some stuff recently to try and make it, like, more... Um... Like, you could, like, in-game telling you more about, like, how to craft your legendaries. But they clearly didn't go all the way. So I don't think there's anything in the game that would have told you that. Unless you're doing literal just trial and error, which would really suck. Gift of metal. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I just need, like, an entire stack of, like, all the whatever metal. And gift of the mists. Is that something you craft? Or do you- No, there was- Wait, is it? I guess we'll find out. I think there was Gift of the Mist in here. There was there. There's some gifts where you can just, like, buy it from an NPC. It's not even that expensive. Uh, but no? Venom, Totem, Scale, Fang, Dust, Claw, Bone, Blood, Water, Statue, Statue, Lightning, Color... Flame, Leather, Stealth, Entertainment, Quicksilver, Light, Darkness, Music, History, Statue, Nature, Energy, Wood, Metal, Ice. So, no. That must be one that you buy from someone. So, there's a chance I have it. I remember, like, early on, I would just, like, buy all of the gifts, because I'm like, I will use this eventually. Uh, but let's see. Well, here's Gift of Metal. That's about what I expected. Good thing I didn't craft any Mithrillium today. I figure out... I see there's, like, um, some sort of, like, feline on here, but I still can't figure out, like, what this actually- this object actually is. Is it, like, a ring? Or, like, I don't know. I know they want to do, like, the typical metals that are actually, like, used for things and actually cost money. Would have been cool if they had gold in here. I feel like, gold and silver are very, like, spacey. 
Hey, at least they don't make us use iron. Ugh, excuse me. Yeah, at least they don't make us use um, iron or steel. Wait, I can't craft platinum on this character? What? That's fucking weird. Wait, you can't craft... You can't craft platinum on weaponsmith? Excuse me? Why- why does Anet do this? Like, seriously. Why do they fucking do this? Well, anyways, um... Okay, I can still craft this. Um, oh, both dark steel and platinum both use platinum, don't they? Hmm. They even realize. Yeah, you know, I guess copper and bronze ingot both use copper. Steel and iron both use iron. And platinum and dark steel both use platinum. I did not make that connection before. I remember I always get confused because I would think steel and dark steel would use the same metal, but they don't. But it seems like they should. Mm. I think I need one more stack. Good. I will probably just buy the rest, honestly. Or, or, let's see, do I have it in, I might have it on a different, I think, yeah, I think it's on my other character, but let me, let me do something real quick here. Oh, there's where you need 250 Mystic Coins and 77 Mystic Clovers. Where do you get Gift of the Mist? Oh, you have to craft that too? Oh, it's from the Mystic Forge. Like, this is one of those things, it'd just be like impossible to figure it out on your own. Anyways... Wait... Oh, here it is. Here we go. Wait. Hold on. Which one do I want to go to? Unbound magic, 30,000. Versus 2,500 volatile. Okay. See, I knew I would be... I knew this would come in handy. I don't remember if this has the same kind of containers that you can get with, um... Letile magic, but I guess we'll find out. Whoops. Okay. Where are the fucking stairs? I used to not know at all how to get out of here. I would always- like, I would be down here and I would just use the waypoint because I couldn't figure out how to get out. I do think the, um, airship, um, stairs are confusing. I, like, the only reason I understand them finally is because you go into these things so many times in these games. Is you have something good? Keeping you, alive? you do not have anything good, except the obsidian shard. That is good. Uh... Crafting materials, but it's worth gold, too. Yeah, you know, I- I mean, I assume they sell all the same things here, too. Should I buy a bloodstone crystal node? Yeah! Yeah, I love to, like, upgrade my home instance. Mini Jade Construct. I don't know, it's, like, kind of ugly. Like how there's two different things in this game considered jade and they're like completely different. 
There's like this jade, and then there's like, um, you know, the Canthan jade. Right, well, I don't think- I assume they have all the same things here. Like, all of these- on all the maps, aside from like minis or whatever, they probably all sell the same stuff. I guess we could check and see. Yep, it's all the same shit. I have like none. 89, that's actually not bad. No, I am not going to fucking buy this. Cause like, you only use this on this one map. Although this could be cute. I don't know, it's probably not worth it to buy these. It probably really isn't. I don't even know, like I'd have to look up what's in them before I decided. Aw oh, man, I remember the days of Istan farming. Those were the days. Um, yeah, so we need metal shipments. Yes. Aw. Grandstone node. I don't think so. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I need to remember I can get like a million obsidian shards from the uh, season 3 maps. Yeah? That's a lot of stuff that I need. I should have opened it on my actual character. I really don't even need this mithril, so I might just like sell it. Like, I'll refine it, and then I might just sell it. Make the damn... Platinum, too. Or not? Wait, why can't I, like, straight up not make platinum ingots? Like, what the hell am I missing here? Jeweler? This is what's confusing. The number is not whether you can craft it on that um, profession. It's more about if you can use it to craft other things. I think it's kind of dumb. I don't know. I mean, I think it's dumb that you can't even craft platinum. What the hell? I, I mean, I didn't spell it wrong. Jeweler only thing for no reason. Probably because back then... They wanted to, like... Can you reactivate it? What do you need? Okay. Okay. I was gonna say, like, I still can't craft it! Yeah, I think it's back when they tried to make Jeweler, like, not useless, but just made it, like, stupid and annoying. Man, Asura with that hat is just the best. Maybe I should still have that hat on this character instead of this other hood. I don't know, it's hard because they're all great. I mean, we have plenty of midrolls, so we might as well craft those. Uh, ingots. How many do I need? Like 250? Let's see. Weapon Smith. 250. I guess we'll just buy we'll just buy it. So I'm going to need I'm going to need 58 ingots. 
Which means we're going to need... We need 115 ore. It's probably not too bad. Only two gold, no problem. You know, I just realized, like, all of these, um, legendary weapons must be, like, super heavy. Because, like, look how much metal you are, like, putting into them. And then how, like, small they are compared to how much metal that it is. You know what I mean? Like, you're putting, like, thousands of entire ingots of metal into one weapon. It should be, like, impossible to carry. And sell this other crap. Actually, no, that you can craft them. Nope, of course not. It's like, that, um, profession fucking sucks. Look at this. I'm gonna make it. The horns are nice, that's about it. <laughs> that. I want to get that out of my inventory. Okay, I have two of these for some reason. Anyways, should be able to do everything else on Cygnus now, I think. Okay, so... Got that. We'll definitely have this. Oh, the, the- okay. Nice, now there's more dailies I can do. I, like, totally forgot about that. Complete a renowned heart, and all the rest of these are easy. It doesn't mean there's only... I can probably still do most of these. I just need to, like, remember to do them. Wow, it's still crafting. Oh my god. <laughs> I got so much freaking mithril from that. Oh, I guess I can craft another lump of mithrilium now, can't I? It's good. I don't know how you spell it. Mm, but you can craft that on here, right? Oh, it has two L's. Oh no! Can't craft it in time. Oh, that sucks. In that case, I'm just gonna sell the rest of those. <laughs> I 
Are you at the step where you gotta craft a shit ton of crystalline ingots? I don't think so. Well, I might be. Mystic tributes. Gift of mists. Gift of glory you buy, right? Or do you? Yeah, you buy that one. Oh my god, I have to get a gift of battle again. I hate doing that. You have stabilized dark energy. I have to get a ball of dark energy. I have to salvage one of my ascended that I just have sitting in my bank, which I guess is not the worst thing. Uh... Oh god, you have to get so much shit. Including Gift of Claws, so you just- you need like a billion fucking things. I mean, what else is new, but also like, come on. I don't- do I need crystalline ingots? It doesn't look like I do, honestly. So I might be past that? Yeah, I don't think I need if the Maguma Mastery. Oh! I thought- wait, you need that for something? Wait... When do you use Gift of Maguma Mastery? Oh, I see. Oh, you're right. I thought you just... Combine. Oh, you're right. You do need crystalline ingot for that. You're right. I thought you just combine. I might have one already. Look, I have ten of them. Oh no, I don't. Oh, I got tricked. I got so tricked. It says the same icon. That's very evil of you, Anat. That's very evil. Yeah, in that case, I do need it. I do have, um, five gifts of Maguma, so that's good. Gift of Insight. That's when you buy from an NPC, right? Because I think I have that somewhere. I have one of those. Oh. Gift of New Hawk. Gift of Itzel. Gift of the Exalted, and Gift of Gliding. Damn, dude! New Hawk, Itzel, Exalted, Gliding. I don't know that I have any. No. I have a Gift of Magic! I don't know why I just have that. Damn it! It's Gift of Condensed Magic I need! Ah, that's so shitty. Why you gotta keep playing me like this, ain't it? Yeah, in that case, I probably have, like, nothing. <laughs> Except this. It's, like, the only thing. Um, and this. These are the only things. That have any use. Yeah, map completion is so easy on Dragon Stand. I always get like a million of. Points. Ah, that sucks. Got the map exploration stuff out of the way. Yeah, but th I wouldn't even say that's like that bad. Well, I need to figure out how to get these other things. Um, I mean, I assume you buy them. In fact, I might even have them on a character. Let me go use the Guild Wars 2 bot. 
is very, very useful. Considering how many fucking characters I have. Um, gif of... Uh, so we have the new hawk, so let's see if we have Itzel. Gift of Itzel. I do not have that. Um, Gift of the Exalted. Do I use Guild Wars 2 efficiency? I do for crafting. Right? That's for the crafting guide, I think. Uh, Gift of Exalted. Or is it the Exalted? Yeah, it's the... The Exalted. Does that have an H in it? No. Legendary. Yeah, I think that's the one. It's thinking. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. No, that first one, it didn't even actually search for it. It said, or it said it didn't know that item name. Is it Gift of the Itzel? Oh, no wonder. In that case, I might have it. Nope. And the last one is Gif... Or wait, or do I have... Gift of Gliding. Gift of Gliding. Well, we might have to go to Heart of Maguma, and that would fucking suck. Although I would be able to kill Mordrum there. Looks like we're going to get the Maguma to find all of these things. Wherever the hell they are. Gift of Maguma Mastery. Gift of Insights. Gift of the Itzel. Yeah, you just buy these. Oh, dude, there's one guy that sells, like, all of them. I think. Or almost. And then where you get... Oh, that's from Yanni. That's easy. She's right here. And then, yeah, then the other two, I can just go Tarir, I think. Hopefully I have enough currency of all this stuff. Let's see. May the six watch over you. Must be here. Is it? Gift of gliding. Wait. Oh, it's right here. Oh, that's not good. Looks like we're um doing some orc basin. Yep. And to do some Octovine whenever that's happening. Hey, base, what's up? Thanks for coming. That is not the right way. Um, there's something happening here. Burnt book. South. Alright, I guess it's gonna happen soonish. I should be able to loot some chests, right? Yeah. I don't want any of the shit. Oh, he already- No, he's not dead yet. Let's go. Maybe we can get him. Nice. Yay, stuff! I 
am so done with this music. All because of my dead ass guild put that music in their guild hall. So again, I need um, and I, I need all of this um, Aurelium for the for two gifts. I need it for the Exalted and for the Gift of Gliding, so... I need a lot of it. Hey Alpha, what's up? Thanks for coming. Oh yeah, we should kill some more drum too. If we come across any. Yeah, Alpha Vine actually is not that good for killing like a bunch of more drum, because really the only thing you actually kill is the Alpha Vine itself. You are more drum. Uh oh. These guys look strong. Die. Okay, at least there's someone else over here. That's good. Surely, yeah, that obviously counts as a Moradrum. That does not look good whatsoever. I don't know what he's carrying, but that does not look good. Get over here, asshole. Yeah. Get his ass. Yeah, I don't know what that did, but it can't be good. Poor turtle. That might not be a bad idea. Especially if I could see, that would be even better. Does this do CC? Oh yeah, it fucking does. Die. It's so fun riding the turtle. There's actually a challenge in Hornomaguma that I can't even do. Or no, it's not Hornomaguma. I think it's somewhere... Maybe it is. But it's one where you have to be riding on a turtle, so you need two players to do it. It's like, okay. Well, fuck me, I guess. The last sapling has been destroyed. I must now activate the Thornwatch pylon for Southwatch. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you. No. That's the last of all wood shifting vine gates. The vines surrounding Thornwatch are receding. I think I'm gonna kill more Mordrin if, if I'm not on the turtle. I think. Keep the Mordrum off me. The pylon. <clears throat> Alpha, thank you so much for the resub for three months. Others will deal with Keep the Mordrum off me. I'm vulnerable. Pylon. There they are. Let me kill you. Yeah, 
<laughs> My characters like copy the NPC basically. I literally have to kill just one more. <clears throat> We're getting plenty of Aurelium at least. I guess I didn't sell this. I thought I did sell it. Now it's sold. Oh, hey, look! That's the last Mordrum I need to kill. Die. Oh god, Bristleback. See this guy. Be nice if there's an adrenal mushroom nearby. Does he whisper to you too? That was so fucking loud. Perfect. Defeat an elite enemy. Oh yeah. I know, right? The bri bristle backs. Same with the fucking pocket raptors. Alright, guess I'll just go back up here. Or are there any chests now? I don't know. Don't yeah, I guess the pre-events you do end up killing a lot more drum, but the actual Octovine you don't. Commander, it's really you, but we didn't know if you'd survive. I always survive, even when I don't. I don't think he's selling what I need. This foliage is conspiring to kill us. That is true. That is true. Okay, I hear something. Something I'll never craft ever, probably. Hell. 
easy. <laughs> Wang. And he says, damn, I just joined Dog. <laughs> a claim that you have. Oh! You can buy the hat! You can buy the hat! Oh, he's gonna look so good! He's gonna look so good. Wardrobe. Hat! The black already looks, like, pretty good. You know, before I applied it, the under part was blue, and that kind of looked, like, really good. Oh, okay. Okay. And then... Yeah, that's Abyssal Sun. Basically, it's the same. See, like, literally no difference. Yeah, sometimes... Sometimes the Abyssal dies don't really show up. It shows up a little bit. It's kind of cool. It is, like, kind of cool, not gonna lie. Oh no. There's other parts that don't look that cool. Oh, but look what it does to his glasses. That's kind of neat. You can start with this and change it. Uh, let me try something. Oh, so that part is the glasses. Okay. Not terrible. It's honestly not terrible, but let me see. The gold is nice, though. The gold is nice. Hmm. I like this part being gold, though. I don't know, like, it almost feels like... Like it fits too well? Like, it's too homogenous. That hat on Asura, though, I know, right? This doesn't really look like anything. Uh, did something unexpected. Oh, wait, you can't even see that. <laughs> you can't even see that. Uh... Can't see that either, damn. I think that's kind of cool, actually. I'm just going to... I do like it a little more on the reddish side. Too much too like. I think I want it on the reddish side. And this is like I think the slight tint is cool, but it might be too subtle. 
Like, who would ever see that in-game, probably, right? I like that. I think I like that. Let's see. Oh, he looks so cute in his little hat. The, like, witch's hat. Yeah, he looks really cool with this. Like, I feel like this fits him so well. Let's try something. this. Oh, that part actually looks kind of bluish. Is that actually because of the skin or does it always- or the dye or would it always look like? Oh, it actually did- Okay. Okay, that's interesting. That's good to know. Yeah, you can't even look at the top of your character. Kinda lame. Okay, yeah, there's some subtleties there that are good. Oh, see, I like that, because this makes it, like, silver here, and then it's gold here. Now I want to try something. I mean, it's kind of awesome, right? Right? I feel like I need to balance it out more. Well, we have it's like that, but a little bit darker. Like, not too dark. Oh, it's a good, good thing we have all this downtime, right? Golden Sheen. Ooh. It's a step in the right direction. For sure. I do kind of go off of, like, the names of the colors probably a little bit more than I should, <laughs> but whatever. I still want to try some stuff. Oh, that's, like, kind of interesting look. I don't know if it's good. What if we just go a little bit darker? Oh, that looks good, I think. Maybe? Like, barely any difference. Makes like no difference. How does that make no difference? Right? 
versus just doing that. I like I like how it's black here and then the glasses are gold. I like the lenses being gold. It doesn't really work if like it's gold on both parts. I think. And then it makes like the rims gold and I don't like that. Looks cooler have colored lenses, I think. Yeah, I like how it looked before, and going back to how it looked before. It was that, and then. Golden sheen. And here. And then. Did like shadow blue, right? Which? Yeah, that part. Oh, which blue did we do? Don't remember. I think it was that. All right, go with that. Let's go. It's time to go. We'll figure it out later. So I guess the chest is not here yet. For like the shoulder pads. Or the pants. Or were they here? No, this is different. No. No, so it's just not here yet. want to get this too. Well, obviously we need this, because I don't know that I even got the, <laughs> the, the set too. I don't remember. We're still doing challenges. And... Is there anything else I can do right now? Oh, I can do that! I think. Where is there a vista? Oh, there's one there. Don't- no, I can't get that one. Pretty sure Work Basin is closed. Or, um, Tarrier is closed. Okay, there's one here I can do. Okay. I can loot the Aurelium here too.
just listening to that scrape in the background. <laughs> Scrittington. They're all called like Scritsburg and Scrittington. What is the other one? I don't remember. I was angry and one wasn't, but now they're both angry. I do not want to hear that anymore. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's something to like kill an elite, right? Nice. The Shatterer. I did it. Oh my god, I don't want to listen to that anymore. die if I try and fight him. Probably. Right, now I actually have a chance because there's someone else here. How much more damage you're doing? Some of them. Okay. I guess I didn't do Oh wow. Okay, I think this will get me over there. Not 100% sure. I guess you can try and find an elite or something. I don't know if there will be one. Okay, I don't know where this person is. Oh, it's it's the trial. Never mind. Even if I found an elite, I probably couldn't kill it, honestly.
At least they're collecting plenty of flax. You have nothing to say, do you? Oh, hell yeah. I'd love being able to use these now. I always forget that's the thing and I end up getting kidnapped by updrafts, yeah. Oh, this, this is the guy I was talking about. Talk to him. Oh, wow. I didn't know that they fought each other. Die, pocket raptors. You know, he might aggro the stone head. Maybe not. They still took out like half his health. Oh, he they they did aggro each other. No, he no, he was aggroed by uh oh. Never mind. Oh god, leave me alone. cake. Outlaw Texas Red. <laughs> That's exactly what the face of someone like that would look like. I bet he's happy Guardian can have pistol now. Can't tell if he does. Well, he he has great sword right now. It's a cute outfit, but it like has just like default dies for most of it. But it's cute. God, I freaking love the light armor for, like, female humanoid characters. They should let every race and gender get to wear those, because they're, like, just so gothic and cute.
And now he waits. Time for salad, someone says. I'm gonna get my Cheetos. I don't have that much left in here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, and this person is just, like, AFK and not dead. Now they are. Oh god, it's this one. I hate this one. It's like the worst one. That's all I got. Oh, it looks like... It looks like we're actually doing it. Oh wait, are we? I don't think I have any push on this class. Except for the raptor that I just used. Oh, no. That's not good. Also, I'm almost dead. This is why you need armors for this one. I don't know if- well, a couple people do. Well, I'll just wait here. That's great. That's really great. I just act like the whole thing's gonna fail now. Even though this happens so early, it doesn't matter. Although this is not exactly good. Get out of the way from me! Oh, okay, let's go. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be able to, like, destroy it. If only I was on my Reaper. We need to have a little bit more of a chance, but not really. Four. Okay. All right, that works. That that fucking works. And now it's time to have like no frames. Trying to get killed by AoE that you can't even see. Ah, didn't get to do it. Not that it, like, fucking matters.
Well, he was obstruct. He was hiding behind the ball. Whatever. <laughs> I think I got all of them. Great jungle worm again. When the fuck is Shadow Behemoth? Did I miss it? Probably missed it. Oh well. everything in here. See, how much aurelium do I need total? I need 300 for the one thing, and then how much do I need for the other thing? I must be, like, pretty close, hopefully. so bad here. have some of those in my fridge. <laughs> I have exactly 500. I think I probably have like all of these.
Hmm. Let's do... let's do this. Oops. Uh-oh. Trident. Don't you just hate when this happens? And it's like, what am I supposed to fucking do? Do I have anything I can even sell? Oh, oh actually I do. I bet it won't let me waypoint like this, though. Actually, I just want to go there. Hey, look! A chest I missed! Ah, damn it! Ah, damn it. It's 30 silver. I don't want to get rid of that. Let's do... Uh, let's do this. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. I hate when this happens. I guess we're just gonna have to fucking leave it there. enough space for this? Okay, good. Did it. Okay. So... Do you have this one, correct? Yes, so we need... Buy the thing I need this guy? I have a lot of eggs that I don't think are used for anything else. Well, maybe it's this guy. Oh, it must be. Yeah. My god. Thanks. It's not something I think I care about. Gift of the Itzel. I feel like I would have had this already. Well... That? Okay. Oh no, I have plenty of that, so that should be okay. I need Gift of Gliding. Right?
So I think I can get that here. Oh, and Gift of Exalted. The Exalted. I feel like I had these before. You know, I probably did, and then I used them in another Legendary. That's probably what happened. And where's Gift of Gliding? I forget. Oh, unlock the appropriate collection. Huh. Wait, where was the Gift of Gliding? Oh, I have that. Oh, I have that. Don't I? I do have that. Right? Oh no, I needed, um... I need 300 Aurelium. That's right, so I don't have it yet. How long was this in my inventory? I could have gotten rid of it. I think you can get rid of these too. So I guess we do more events and stuff, because I have only six Aurelium. So yeah. So we're gonna be doing more of this. Let's see, a Shadow Behemoth. Still not happening. I must have missed it. I already did Great Jungle Worm, so trouble. Fire Elemental. Mega Destroyer. Spanner. Yeah, like, it's gone through all of them, so I must have just missed it. That sucks. Uh, these other things. We should definitely do the weeklies. Like, one of these. And that'd be... That'd be cool too, because I haven't I don't think I've really taken this guy to um Astral Ward yet. <laughs> and there's a Mystic Forge here. Are you? Oh, probably because it's in the invisible bag. There we go. Nice to see you. I get my emotes to show. Whatever. All right. Um. Let's see. Need one more. Here we go. Let's fucking do this. Oh, that was lame. <laughs> oh, you know what else I can do here, though, that's important? As I th think. I only need one ball of dark energy, so that's good. So, we will get. This. These stack? No. Well, that's fine, because we're gonna be using it up. Alright, what do I want to get rid of? We have a war horn. We have a great sword. We you. have a staff. We have another staff. Maybe I'll just get rid of the, um... Wait a minute. Transmuted Yggdrasil. I probably, um... Oh no, that's not a precursor. That's just the um uh druid, I think, staff, right? Or fucking make sure. I'm pretty damn sure though. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so we really don't need this. I did it! Hey, 
Anyways, oh god, I have to get... Let's not get the battle, but I do need to get a gift of battles. Fucking have one. To me, that's almost like the worst part. <laughs> that's almost like the worst part of making the legendary is doing the fucking world v world. I don't really fucking want to. Mm. Actually, just end up throwing this away. Completely on. Can I help you? Let's see. Maybe I can make something useful with it that doesn't use up my other materials. Probably not, though. Is this? Oh, let's see. That uses my shard. I feel like I need to hold on to Oryx Silver. Right? Dust. Yeah, like, I don't think it's worth it to make any of these. So I'm just gonna throw it away. I'm just gonna throw it away. I don't care. You can't sell it to anyone. So you gotta just throw it away. And I probably need those fangs, don't I? Uh... Yeah, gift of fangs, gift of bones, gift of scales, gift of claws. Well, I can't make any of those. I probably need to buy the thing for it, too. Hey, look, it's that thing that I just sold. I had enough. Well, now I'm gonna buy it again. Because <laughs> I'm dumb. I literally could have just made this and not had to buy anything. Who cares? I got so much gold, it doesn't matter at this point. Gift of bones. Big old pile of them bones. Uh, claw. So I think I need to buy the rest of these recipes, because I think I don't have them. Melissa uh, Claw, scale, and fangs. Hope you can get that for I kind of don't remember seeing them. Oh, here we go. Claw. It's like, I almost might as well get all of them, but that'd be kind of a waste of money. Fang. And scales. Right? Then I also need... Gift of blood, gift of venom, gift of totems, and gift of dust. There goes all my fucking gold. Um, gift of... Oh, that's cute. I'm sure that's for that, um, bow that, like, makes unicorns. But still, I like the idea of making a unicorn statue. That's cute. Blood, venom, totems, dust. Blood. Uh, dust. I was really hoping I already had some of these. Like, I had gift of bones already. Venom. Totem. Just like that, all my gold is gone. That's how it is. That's how it is. Good to meet. Oh, you know what? Where are they... What are in the chest these days? I don't think I've checked in a long time. Two. Review. I don't like those. Ice Reaver? I mean, it's pretty cool. Cyber Howl? That is like the coolest combination of words ever. Yo, what? This is fucking sick! This is pretty fucking sick. And then the white tiger stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold- as cool as that is, I don't think I really have a character to use it on, so... I think I'm just gonna hold off until there's, like, 
really good stuff. Like, really good. Like, these weapon sets are something I want. Or, or this is, like, something that's actually good. I think I'm gonna wait. Um... How about... Has this changed? Greeting. Is the Koi back piece still under recent? I think it is. It looks like everything else is still the same. Ah, oh, I want this to become vintage. Now, like, how long is it gonna take? Because I feel like these were around, like, the same time. Inner backpack lighter con. Oh, you know, I should see. Now, I guess that... How about this? I don't think I really want this. It's cool, but it's... I like the other thing more. That, um, Shimmering Aurora lighter. Oh my god, it is here! Yes! Fuck yeah, dude. I don't think I need the ape. Oh, we can take you? a look at it. Oops. Use. Let's see. Good to meet you. It's pretty. Wait, can you not change the color of it? Cause this is definitely not the. Well, or maybe it is the dyes I was using. Uh, is this dyeable? Is this dyeable? Tell. Right. Oh, okay. I mean, the colors I have on this yellow, purple, blue. Is it dyeable? Even if it is, I don't know if I want to use it. I mean, we can just see, I guess. We can do this, then we'll be able to find out. Let's see the color it is not dyeable. Get out of here. Don't want your shit. Now I have to like type the name. Um, like it's already unlocked, so like who cares? It's just a skin. Shimmering Aurora Ape skin. I'm glad I was able to do a little bit of Fashion Wars just now. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I obviously don't want skins like that, or dyes like that. So that's the default, which looks pretty nice. But we can do better. Can I help you? I mean, that's pretty good. Which one affects the bubble colors? Is it this? Oh, I think it is. So what if we did this? What if we did... Oh no. Does it change though? I guess it does. Mmm. What if we mixed in some Vista? Ooh. What if we mixed in some blue sky? What if we did Starry Night? Hmm. 
Pretty good. I feel like I'm going to end up using this Twilight on something. We did this. Hmm. No, this is very important. What if we did this? Uh... Whoa. This may have become rainbow. How'd that happen? I mean, that's really cool, but that's not really what I'm going for. Ah. What if... I have the green one, don't I? Can I help you? I do. Abyssal Forest. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Oh, I wish I had Abyssal Depths. Now we have Twilight, Sea, Shadow Abyss, and Forest. I like the green, but I feel like it's too... too bright. Twilight, sea... I want it to be rainbow. Let's just go with that. I'm probably overthinking it. I don't know, because I'm like, oh, I want some gold in it. Then when I put gold in it, it doesn't look good. I just go with this. I feel like I want like silver or something. How do you do? Alright, well, let's just see. No, it like, it's so, like, light, it's like it's transparent. Oh, <laughs> now I'm stuck. Oops. No, I don't even have that waypoint. Whatever. <laughs> what if I just made the whole thing black? At least that, maybe. You know this is like so important. I need the fulgurite? Do I? Sorry, I, I had like another window open so I didn't see chat until now. Well, I also have to think of the trail it's leaving behind. You need that to look cool too. What if I... Just made the whole thing black. I hate centaurs. Horses are for right. Horses. What what is a horse? That does not exist in this world. Well, now it's like you can't even see it. Mm. 
Yeah, it's too bad you can't see the trails that come off of it when you're flying. Or like, you know, in here, I mean. Yeah, all of these... Because I'm assuming the swirly part is the trail. All of them do, like, affect it. What I had before was probably the best thing. Whatever it was, I guess that. <gasps> Shadow Behemoth! Perfect! Well, I hope I don't need the Fulgurite because I threw away the dust. Yeah, that'll work. Well, let's see. We'll see how much I fucked it all up. I hate that. I, I don't know why, but the way that character says that is like so fucking annoying and I hate hearing it. And whenever you're doing Winter's Day, you like always hear it. Uh, I need Fulgurite, but yeah, it probably fucking do. Probably fucking do. Gift of Glory. Yeah, something you buy, apparently. Gift of battle. Gift of war. Met a Silvari the other day. Curious lot they are. Also buy that, but you you buy it with um world v world like st stuff that you get. Done with the gift of insights. We are done with that. Well, for now we are. I need to buy the thing. Gift of gliding. Bloodstone shard, crystalline ingot. Maybe that's what you were thinking of. I sure fucking hope so. I sure fucking hope so. Mechanism, mystic tribute. What do you need for that? Yeah, I don't think- I don't think you need the Fulgurite. I don't think you do. I could be wrong. I don't think you do. Thank fucking god. Oh god, that's another really annoying- <laughs> The way the character says it is so annoying. I almost have enough of that. I made bones, don't need it. I'm really not too far off from a lot of these. Except that one, I'm pretty far off from those. Look, I only need four more for that. Um. Oh yeah, I guess I'm still working on this. Yeah, but you know, some of these I'm not too far from. So let's go and fight Shadow Behemoth. I almost waypointed instead of using the portal. I'm pretty sure this event is basically done. Yep. There's some blood. I think I need that one. I think so. No, 
now Skalk attack them and kill them. So I can res them. <laughs> the, uh, killing the Skalk itself doesn't actually count towards Renown Heart here, which is dumb. Well, you have to revive the people that the Skalk kills, basically. You're supposed to attack me. That is a cool outfit. Kind of. I thought this was like all like inquest pants or something. I swear. I gotta see. I gotta see. I know I have that skin. Inquest. He is wearing Inquest armor. Like, why? Is that literally the Inquest symbol? That kind of compass looking thing? This man is a traitor. Damn it. I hate when that happens. It's like they wait for you to stop guarding and then they attack you. It's weird to think of like a spirit leaving a dead body, basically. Hopefully these guys will get killed. No, they actually killed the Skelk. Surprisingly. They're the Skelk that like to be on the tree. Fuck you. That's what I thought. We'll probably finish the renowned heart just by doing the boss anyways. Sure, why they put a hero's banner and then another banner. Sure. Yay! And now he waits. Oh, can I not use this while I'm on a chair? Hey, weird. There 
there's a cake. If we have anything good. That's pretty fitting for him. Now these are like that exciting. I guess I should destroy the portals. Champion Flesh Eater. No, it's not an elite, unfortunately. I always forget which. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I have a feeling this is probably stronger. Maybe. You wanna put your face down again? Oh. Killed any elites. I know we shouldn't be focusing on these, but I also want to. I can't fight him again. There's another one. There's a lot of them actually. <laughs> There's like three of them. I don't even know if they like drop anything.
Oh, so that's just like unblockable, I guess. I mean, I guess that makes sense. See, there it is. Oh, an elite! It's an elite here. Oh, it doesn't count. Oh, that sucks. God, <laughs> I got it squashed by a giant hand. Alright, let's finish this dude off. If I switch my- yep, I was gonna say if I switch to my range re weapon, he's just gonna come back into the melee distance. Oh, I shouldn't use that skill, but it's okay. Yay! I did two things. Now, what what would be the easiest place to find an elite and a few? Well, we could do this. That's right, I was gonna go there and then I got sidetracked. What were the other gifts I needed? Like, gift of condensed magic and shit like that? Stabilizing matrix? I don't even know how many of those I have. Probably not very much. I have four. Although it looks like you can like buy these. Hmm. Well, let's see, let me do something here. I think I also need Make the stars guide you. Wait, what was it called? Uh wait. What was that thing I needed?
Crystalline ingot. That's what I need. Crystal... Crystalline ingot. Please tell me I can fucking make that. I need 250. And a bloodstone shard, which I'm pretty sure I have. Crystal ingots. Make seven. Oh, you're right! I do need fulgurite! Shit! Well, ah, uh, the obsidian shard. I guess I'll just make this. So, how many do I need? 250. Oh, see, this is why it's good I got all that um, amalgamated gemstone. Oh, how much of a fucking grind these are. Yeah, it's actually the gemstone I don't... Be way too fucking expensive. Let's do this. Oh, you can't get a mini siege turtle. Or has a name, so it's not a mini, it's a ranger pet. Huh. Probably you need that by for God oh, damn it. What is this? Oh. When did I ever get that mail carrier? I don't want that shit. I don't know why it was this, unless that is the person that sent it to me. Oh, thank you, model. Wait. So is the mail carrier that you select the one that you see, or the one that the person you send it to sees? Because I thought- I just assumed what you were picking was what you would see. But I guess it kind of makes sense for it to be what the other person is sending you. Alright, where do you buy these freaking keys? I just forget who to talk to. I don't think it's this guy. Oh, it is. Oh no, it's not. Cause I don't want. I don't want to spend that. Oh, I want them. I want these so bad, dude. Where's the sword? That's what I want on my main. Oh my god, it's literally my colors. Like, it's literally perfect. And look, when you, like, do this. Oh, it's so perfect. Someday, someday. People, the person sending mail shows others their carry. I did not know that. Shows how much I get mail in this game from like actual people. No, it's not you either, I don't think. That's not why. Mm -mm. Oh, 
look, you can just buy this. I was like using the ones I already got from like Black Lion Chest or something. I don't want to spend that. Wait, can I just... Can I just buy this off the trading post? No, model, that's totally fine that you sent, sent those to me. Thank you. Because you can't buy the key. The heck, I feel like I never had an issue buying these before. I don't have this. I don't want to spend this to get it. I swear there, there's another way to get it before. I mean, sometimes you get them as drops. But I feel like I was able to just buy it before. I'm probably totally wrong about that. Oh god, it's not you. Oh, that's why you can't stack them. Oh, I found it. I found it. Deeply discounted. Found it. See if I get a key inside the box I unlocked with the key. I did! Let's just love when that happens. Okay, now I can sell this crap. I don't like this gift of bones, like, being somewhere where I could sell it. I mean, I guess that's true with all of these, but... I'm pretty sure, like I said, that I have a bloodstone ingot, so I don't think I have to worry about the dust. We'll see. I have ten of them. I'm probably just gonna eat the dust, honestly. Not me, but have my, um, thing eat the dust. Yeah, as- as- well, I got an exotic armor, I guess. I don't know how good that is, though. Aw, is this from, like, a Quagon? I have to just throw it away. I have to just throw it away. Clock up my bank with more exotics I'll never use. Alright, those, uh, things. Those matrices? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to just buy it. Four, and I need 75, so I need to buy 71. I mean, I, I should be able to afford it, but... It is. Okay, I was give you like, if that's not in there, but took my gold, I'd be so pissed. Okay, I think that's all I needed. I hope that's all I needed. Yes, and we got a ball of dark energy. So there. So now we will leave. And now I will go to...
so glad you can go here now on like any character. Now we just find out which map the meta is happening. His weapon smith. So we need to make. I want to talk to you. What was it called again? Well, oh, if I just do this. Uh, wait, what was it called? Cube of Stabilized Dark Energy. There it is. Cool. Used to craft Pristine Mist Essence, a key component in legendary backpacks. And this apparently, too. Gift of the Mists, that's what we need. Cool. Oh good, that can go into storage. Okay. How close am I making those, like, fangs and stuff? We literally just need four more of these, I'm just gonna buy them. Why the hell not? Seven silver, it's fine. Yay! And then this will all be just like clogging my uh, inventory. Basically. No, maybe I should just like try to find them in the wild, but oh well. Yay. this. And put these in here. Yeah, these you don't need anymore. Alright. I have like three spaces left. All right, let's go find the meta. Unlocking Wizard's Tower, events in Archipelago, or events in Shiver Peaks. All right, so hopefully a Horn of Maguma meta will be happening. It's just like, it's just like red over here. And this really is supposed to be in another dimension. 
Whatever. Yeah, why not? I still do have, like, masteries to level up. Oh yeah, I thought I saw there was some kind of... Let's see, what was it? It's not that... What's it? Uh... Not looking for collector. Of course, it's all just gonna be. Oh, here. No, that's not it. Thought. Thought there was like an achievement for like using the new weapon proficiency thing. But maybe there isn't. Maybe there's not. Uh, I guess there probably wasn't. I'm missing one. Anyways. Let's go see what's happening over here. Well, it's certainly not happening right now. Let's see. Let's see when it happens. Oh, uh, it's at like 7 o'clock. Yeah, I'm not gonna be streaming then. Oh well. We can do events here, I guess. Yeah, that's something we can still do. We have this, like, asshole yell at us. You know, the guy in this event. Oh, it's up here. Yellow. I is such a dick. Are there other pile of barrier scraps I can get? Why does it like take time to pick it up? It's so dumb. He actually didn't say something. Can you believe it?
Now grab these parts and fly. Oh, I missed. Glad that's done. Experienced bait chef in need of eager assistance. Great resume builder. Any takers? Oh, thank you. The Rift Hunters placed quite an order, but this will be a great learning experience for you. I'll find out the ingredient I need and how to prep it. We'll be done in no time. Wax will really light up your bait. How about we add some? Add a dash of bloodstone and. Bone. There you are, Bone. I need a bone. Any type will do. Dip it in some blood for an extra magical kick. Some blood. Here's a tip. A single ritual totem will add a ton of potency to your bait. Let's add Splash it with some blood first. Black crocus flower will liven up any concoction. Get one for me, okay? Ooh, it glows. Let's add some blood first. It will really light up your bait. How about we add some? That'll be fine as it is. Can you toss me a bone? Don't worry, I can catch. Sprinkle some bloodstone first. Oh, a ball! I thought she said a bone. I'm glad I read the the dialogue box. No, no, no! That wouldn't even do anything. Oops. That's lucky. Grab it for me, okay? <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> um, do you need anything else on it? No. Okay. No need to worry about a wick. Ah, you bastard! I hate when that happens. I'm pretty sure I've done, like, all of these. Yeah, I remember when this person would, like, yell across the map? It's like, it's always the Asura that are doing that. <laughs> How come I can't do that? Did 
15 events, but I've already done four somehow. That's good. I still need to kill an elite, too. My god, my character is like way too underpowered for this. We still can maybe do this. Oh, uh, okay. Well, didn't get aggroed at least. I don't know if I can do this. Okay. But that's just like one round, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. She's just going here? I probably can do this. Maybe. Oh hey, an elite! If we managed to kill him, then we'll get the daily. Or whatever it is. Oh nice, it succeeded. Aw oh, man! Never mind, that wasn't a good thing. Oh, no, it's all over me. Oh, what a smell. Oh, dear, that's going to be trouble. Look out! Hey, an elite. Fix. Focus. Concentration. Oh, that was lucky. Nice. It's like there must be someone else here because it's dying in a timely manner. Yay! I guess the nice thing about this map is a lot of events are just in a big chain. So it's like you do one, you end up doing like three of them. Stargaze Ridge, that's like such a nice name. I know it might be a really nice game to play while stoned. Um, Spyro Game Boy Advance game, specifically Spyro 2 on the Game Boy Advance. No one ever talks about the Spyro games on the Game Boy Advance, but they were actually really fucking good and that those were the Spyro games I grew up with. But Spyro 2 had like... What was it? It was like sunny plains, lunar fields, and starry something. It had like space themed, kind of. Like celestial themed, like hub worlds. But you know, all the other worlds were like, all the other levels were themed too. And there's one themed after like the moon and like rockets and stuff. It is a really good game. I'll definitely stream it someday. Spyro Game Boy Advance games are so, like, underrated. Especially, uh, Spyro Attack of the Rhinox. That game was so fucking good. Like, I'm pretty sure most people would probably hate it because literally the entire game is, like, fetch quests, but I kind of like fetch quests in games. It was kind of like... It was kind of like... a Metroidvania with fetch quests. Like, fetch quest progression. I don't know how to explain it, but I played the fuck out of that game as a kid. I freaking love that game. Anyways, what are we doing? 
Yeah, the place being called Stargaze Ridge made me think of that. Yeah, and there was even a Halloween themed level, which was sick. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know if we got it. I guess we got it. And there was a Christmas themed level too. It was such a great game. I have so many cool themed levels. What was that? Lucretia, you're okay. We'll find them together. Not he dead. And any other events happening? I need to go eat dinner in like two minutes. I definitely want to eat dinner. There's some events up here, but I don't know if I can get to them in time. over here. I think I know what event that is, and if it's been up for a while, it might be, like, almost over. Not in terms of, like, missing it, but in terms of, like, I won't have to wait as long, like, when I start doing it. Hopefully. We'll see. It's over. But I don't feel like doing this. Or wait, or is that it there? Maybe I don't know what this event is. No, this is what I was thinking of. Although there's like five minutes left, so. Someone came. My partner is badly injured. Oh no way! You have to beat it in five minutes. We'll see if we can actually do that. Oh god! Fucking smoke scale. Hate that shit. Fuck you. Celestial Mew, that's a cute name. Let's make a dino trap. Yeah. Oh god, pocket raptors! Music's getting intense. I have a feeling that I'm probably not gonna beat this. Oh god. Oh god, the oh god! No! I couldn't move. Oh, I live.
No, you don't. Yes. Yes. Now it's your turn to die. Yeah. miss. Oh god. Why does it seem like something is like shooting ice? Oh, there's those like turret things. Uh oh. Oh, this is uh, charged up again. That's very fortunate. Maybe we can actually do this. There's like someone else here. Hate those things. Just one single pocket wrapper. Oh no, there they are. actually do this. I hate that thing. Yeah, that's not worth it. Oh, that's not fair! this event, um, which is probably just gonna fail, <laughs> I'm gonna go eat dinner. I assume you have to succeed at the event for it to count for the daily. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go <laughs> eat dinner now, so I'm gonna find someone to raid. Yeah, I noticed the Twitch drops thing is enabled, but I also noticed that they, the Twitch drops kind of fucking suck this time, in my opinion. Well, let's see to who we got to raid. If Twitch will ro load, that would be nice. Hmm. Who is streaming? Hmm. It's hard to know. Who's a raid? Let's see.
Anyone in any of the servers I'm in stream? Someone. They are playing Pokemon Unite. They are in Ronnie's server. Why not? Let's do it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't know anything about this game, if it's good. But I just want to raise someone so I can go and eat dinner. Thank you guys all for coming. Um... Yeah, I know I'm at kind of the, um, you know, grindy part of making a legendary, so I'm probably not gonna stream that part, but... I do want to stream- I know I said I was gonna do this. I am going to, um, stream Splatoon 3 Side Order DLC at some point. It's kind of the next thing on my list, I guess. So yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for coming. Bye.